If you want to buy cheap, reliable NBA 2K19 MT, please go to DVDJ.com, use the code CRUSH, and if you're not familiar with the process, you can contact them on Twitter. Both links will be in the description. What is good, YouTube, and welcome back to a brand new video. I wanted to continue these free agency rebuilds. We got like four games left in the regular season. Uh, very close to playoff time. I cannot wait. Turn volume off, guys. I always make that mistake, man. I always make that mistake. So we're going to do a Demarcus Cousins Mavericks rebuild. Uh, Cause there's a few teams that need centers, and that might uh become more teams once free agency hits. But uh, as far as teams right now, I think like teams like the Mavericks and the Lakers come to mind as players that are as teams that do need centers. So uh, Demarcus Cousins is going to be a big name free agent this off season, although. Now, he's uh, had his ups and downs with the Warriors. He hasn't been closing games sometimes, I think, with them. So, uh, the Warriors Cousins, I think as soon as he is able to get out of there, which there are some rumors he might stay if uh, Kevin Durant or Clay were to leave or something like that. But really hoping he does not stay. I want to see DeMarcus Cousins playing elsewhere. Although, you could argue Curry and DeMarcus Cousins, if KD were to leave, would be a pretty dynamic duo. But... Nonetheless, I want to see him be on the Dallas Mavericks with Luka and Mr. Uh, Christos Porzingis. So let's go into the offseason. Let's get right to it. So uh, let's reject all these offers. Keep in mind, guys, this is not a realistic rebuild. So uh, there might be some stupid trades in here. It might be some trades that make no sense. Keep that in mind. I would appreciate that while you're watching the video. But head scout, we got a double A head scout that we can get. So let's sign uh, Mr. Cuba Gooding uh, and then... Cuba Gooding Jr., who is an actor, if you guys didn't know. he's uh, I haven't seen him in very many movies lately, but, you know, he was an actor way back in the day. Uh, I think he was he was in uh, Radio. Not Radio. It was it Radio? Yeah, he was the kid with disabilities in Radio. So, uh, shout out to you if you've seen that movie. But uh, definitely need to free up some cap space in order to make this a thing. Because, obviously, we want to bring back... Or we want to sign to Marcus Cousins and bring back Chris Asperzingis. That's, like, not an option. That's going to happen. So we have a second round pick, early second rounder. And I did see someone in my last video comment that I need to start drafting second round pick. So just for you, I will do that. I think it was BMG YT that told me that, but I could be wrong. Uh, he said that I could find some 75 overalls in, you know, the second round, which he's not wrong. There is that occasion where you could. You got uh, Chuma Okik that says he's a 73 overall from Auburn, LeGerald Vic, Jalen Hands, Dedrick Lawson. Uh, I'm going to take... This guy from Auburn, because they're in the Final Four. Why not? So, uh, not I don't know much about college. So, uh, he is a 71 overall. Could have gotten Goga, I guess, but that's okay. So, you know what? I'll take it. 71 overall in the second round. Not too shabby, so I'll take him. Player options. Dwight Powell accepts his player option qualifying offers. We definitely wanted to get Chris Tasporzingis back. Costas Antetokounmpo, yes. He's an Antetokounmpo. But he's not that important for me. You know, I'll sign him back just because I feel like there's someone that's going to get mad at me for <laughs> renouncing him. So, I'll leave him. So, now for the salary cap table, we got 18.08 million in cap space. Co let's renounce Kleber, Salon Mejri, Finney Smith, Trey Burke, J.J. Barea, Lifetime Maverick, I know. And then we're going to renounce Ryan Brokoff as well. So, probably going to free up, need to free up a little bit more money in order to... Do we have Tim Hardaway on this roster still? That's what I thought. 18.15 million. Uh, he's actually not a bad starting shooting guard, uh, so I'll, I'll leave him if I can. But obviously, I want to try to free up as much cap as possible. We get a first-round pick from the Bucks. We could get uh, Maurice Wagner, Elise Johnson, Goga, Tyler Johnson. First-round pick the Warriors. You know what? Um, let's actually go back to that first-round pick from the Bucks. So let's do that. And then uh, now, our cap table, 50.09 million. So looking a little bit better. Um, Jalen Brunson might be the starting point guard this year. I have no idea yet, but could be happen. So Daryl Macon, uh, we might be able to afford Marcus Cousins and Chris Stapps now in this one. If not, uh, obviously I can definitely change things. So Porzingis wants 25.50 million. Uh, hopefully I can match any offer he gets, but Marcus Cousins, obviously we want to bring him back, uh, or we want to bring him here. He is the title of the video. So let's try to get him. Chris Porzingis is prepared to... So, yeah, that's basically what we're going to do. Resign both of these guys. And if we don't have enough money, uh, hopefully we do. Okay, we do. So, I think we just got both of them, which is what I wanted. DeMarcus Cousins and Chris Stapsworthing us with good deals. Awesome stuff there. Now, we are at 5.09 million in cap space, surprisingly. So, still quite a bit of money to do stuff. So, now, we got a point guard in Jalen Brunson. Tim Hardaway. Uh, Luka Doncic at the small forward. 
I guess I'll leave him there. Porzingis, at the, he goes up quite a bit, though, doesn't he? Um, Tim Hardaway. What? There we go. No, I want to change this. It won't let me do it in that menu. Okay, so I messed up there. Sorry, guys. Uh, Quick edit. There we go. Okay, so sorry. Shooting guard. Luka Doncic goes up. Tim Hardaway is the same. He's 6'6". Six, six, so uh, Luka Doncic is 6'7". I'll leave him the small forward, like I said. That's fine. Brunson, Tim Hardaway, Luka, Justin Jackson, Chris Osborne, uh, Dwight Powell, and DeMarcus Cousins. Very serviceable players. Tim Hardaway, like I said, we could keep him for this season or we could trade him. I don't know, guys. What should I do with him? I think I might trade him just because he is expensive. And we could probably afford someone a lot better on this roster right now. So let's go for it. Uh, Marcus Smart would actually be pretty nice. And then we could even actually move Loka Doncic to the shooting guard now if we do this. So we'll call it time. We do have center uh, a center already, so I don't want to do that. Etwan Moore, Langston Galway, Fred Van Vliet, and Norman Powell. I would definitely take Fred Van Vliet for one season. That's not a problem. Andrew Roberson, Gorgi Dang, Andrew Iguodala. So, uh, should I just free up the money? Should I just, like, go for, you know, free money? Mitchell Robinson, move Dwight Powell. You know what? I feel like I, I just moved Tim Hardaway back to the Knicks, didn't I? Oh, well. 21.68 million. And we can move Dwight Powell to the back of power forward, probably. Just because uh, I have seen that dude hit some threes. And just like that, we have a front court full now. And we can move Luka Doncic to the shooting guard. And a point guard and small forwards now needed badly and we have 21.86 million to do so so we are actually doing this with uh you know under what if i could afford kevin Durant on this team too that would be insane guys that would be absolutely insane uh kelly Oubre would obviously be you know somewhat decent but uh i wish there was someone like i wish there was like a buddy healed left or something actually that ain't till next season should i just like sign reddick or something for one season or small forward just sign Someone for one year and then wait till next offseason to get some of these guys. Uh, point guard, we could go for like Berea for one year, Beverly. Uh, guy, uh, let's see. Kevin Durant, DeAndre Jordan, and his cancer. So that's all big, man. Jeremy Lamb, we could move him to the small four for one season, I guess. I'll do that. Move, sign him up for one year, not long term. Jeremy Lamb, just to fill out that position. And then the back or point guard or backup point guard, sign someone up for one season. DeLon right off the bench actually have him playing on DraftKings tonight. I'm hoping he uh, kills it. And Jeremy Lamb goes elsewhere. Sign Kelly Oubre for one season, I guess. And then uh, Dwan Wright and Kelly Oubre goes to the Pacers. Actually, not a bad fit. Let's sign Melo for one season. Why not? I actually did it. I wasn't kidding. Uh, you know what, guys? All respect to Carmelo Anthony. I know this is... That might be really stupid, but you know what, guys? I'm going to bring Carmelo Anthony to the roster and let him start at the small forward because why not, right? So I'm going to go ahead and simulate this one season, see how this team does. Now we have DeMarcus Cousins and Chris Stapps and Luka. And once we free up all the money, we might be able to move Luka Doncic back to the small forward, sign a guy like Buddy Heald, maybe even a better point guard, hopefully Jalen Brunson. I'm cool with him being our starting point guard, honestly, just because we do have some star talent already. So, looking pretty good if you ask me, guys. Uh, this is going so good so far. So, so far so good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw some untapped potential at Jalen Brunson because I want him to be very good this season. And let's throw some at Mitchell, Mr. Mitchell, Mr. Mitchell Robinson as well and call that good. So, now we look at the rotation. Yes, it is weird having Carmelo on here. I know it is a weird fit, actually. So, uh, Jalen Brunson, Luka Doncic, Carmelo Anthony, Chris Esporzingas, DeMarcus Cousins, Dwight Powell, Mitchell Robinson, DeLon Wright, and Justin Jackson. So I will take that. Uh, let's send oh, this O'Keek guy. Maybe he could even be the starting small forward. I don't really know. What, I don't really want to talk about my future yet. Yeah, because you're going to the G League right now, and you're going to become very good when you get back. Hopefully, Justin Jackson, uh, Carmelo, send him to the G League. No, I'm just kidding. But let's go ahead. and Simulate to the end of the year. Let's see how this Mavericks team finishes out. Hopefully, we make the playoffs. We didn't make the playoffs as shockingly as it sounds. I don't know how we didn't make it, but maybe it was because of Carmelo Anthony, right? Because uh, everybody likes to blame Carmelo. But 20 points for uh, or Chris Stapps, 18 and 9 for Carmelo Anthony. Average 11 points. Don't sleep, but I won't be bringing him back. Obviously, that's okay because we still have money to hopefully bring in a different guy, different player. So uh, we have uh, the 12th pick, which is a lottery pick. So I will take it. Staff signing uh cfo let's sign a good cfo go with andrew moore and we should be good there for the nba draft i don't want to fire red carlisle because he is a very respectable coach uh we have 
the 12th pick, do I dare trade Jalen Brunson in the 12th pick for something? I mean, like, do I do it? Or is that just, like, not... Not... Doesn't make any sense. Like, I probably won't do it, guys. I just was testing it out. I'm um, yeah, probably just going to leave it. So, for the 12th pick, I do kind of want to trade the pick. Hopefully, maybe... I don't know. Maybe I'll trade that late second rounder and go with something else. Uh, Thompson, off the bench, Wesley Matthews, Justice Winslow... Chris Wilkes, uh, who is cheap. Uh, I might do that. Seth Curry, Isaiah Thomas, who also is cheap. Darren Collison, Dylan Welder, Rashawn Holmes. R Ooh. I actually might do this trade because low key, he actually is pretty good when it comes to the simulations. Rudy Gay, and he's cheap. He has 4.68 million, so that might bring a, allow us to bring in someone else as well. So I'm going to go with that trade. Let's get him. So let's get. Uh, I don't know how to say his last name. So. Uh, let's get them. So NBA draft. Let's skip over it now because we don't have a pick anymore We traded all three of them for this guy. Hopefully it was worth it. Let's sign this guy back. Uh, Justin Jackson uh, I'm probably gonna let him go because I want that five million to sign someone. So uh, Hopefully we have some money to do something. I'm pretty sure we will but I could be wrong Wouldn't put it past me to be wrong about something. So Carmelo uh, Justin Jackson Juan Wright, uh, which we could comfortably renounce I think and we're gonna have about 19.86 million dollars so that's still enough to sign at least one player to bring in here to do something so uh good small forwards so i mean we could say you know we don't have enough small forwards but front court is fine front court is locked down so front court is solid we could sign a better point guard or a better small forward so let's go for that so let's see what's out here we got ben simmons Mike Conley is interesting. If I could afford Mike Conley, I think I would do it, guys. Because I think he would be an interesting fit in Dallas. Uh, Kyle Lowry, Jamal Murray, Buddy Heald, Brandon Ingram, Jalen Brown, DeJounte Murray. So, you know what, guys? If I could do it, uh, Mike Conley is a little bit more expensive. $9.68 million in cap space. Uh, I don't know if he would take... How much would I be offering him if... Uh, 19.86 million. I don't know if he would take this deal, but I'm going to give it to him anyway for two years. He doesn't want it. So, you know what? No big deal. Kyle Lowry, though, is interesting to me because he's still that player that uh, could be decent next to, but it also could be a terrible fit because Kyle Lowry has turned more into a ball handler uh, for the Raptors who has, you know, distributed the ball a little bit. You know, his assists have been up. But if I'm trying to get something going here, because small forwards, we don't really have a lot of good, you know, superstar or all-star small forwards. Jamal Murray, I know I could sign Jamal Murray as well. And that would be okay. So do I go Lowry or Jamal Murray? Uh, I guess I'd go Jamal Murray in this situation just because he fits the timeline of the team better. So I'll go Jamal Murray, give him as much money as I can. Kyle Lowry or Mike Conley would have been nice too, but let's give Jamal Murray the money that we could give him. Hopefully he comes to Dallas and maybe we'll have a nice team going forward with Jamal Murray at the helm now. So I'm cool with that. So Jamal Murray, welcome to the team. And then we could sign a backup small forward or something or a backup shooting guard, I should say. Uh, although maybe we don't need to. Let me look at the roster one more time. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So never mind, we got a nine rotation. So uh, am I comfortable with my starting small forward though? Although I don't really have, I, there's not much I can do about it now. So I'll just leave it. So now that we got uh, Jamal Murray here as well now, this should be interesting. I, I really like it. Jamal Murray is not a guy that needs the ball in his hands all the time to be successful, although his playmaking is somewhat decent. Uh, so I like it. It actually is a pretty nice roster. I think it looks pretty good, especially with the signings we made now that Jalen Brunson can move to the bench. And we should be able to make the playoffs this last season. Or I'm going to kill 2K and the creators. For this very last season, we are the fourth seed facing the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, I think our team is very good to the point where we could make it to the Western Conference Finals and win a championship. I mean, it's just, you know, got some talent everywhere, and I think the bench is very good, although it is up to 2K in a way. 21 uh, points from Chris Stapps again. 15 for Marcus Cousins, not being as aggressive as I thought he was. Luka Doncic was 17, although that might be my fault because I didn't really change anything. I just let these guys be, see what happens. So facing the Los Angeles Lakers in the first round, simulate current round, we got home court advantage, guys. Uh, pray for me. Hope we win this. So let's do this guys. I'm not gonna look for a second Totally not gonna look and then once I open my eyes We are going to be in the second round because 2k loves me that much Three 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 Let's go guys. 
Battle of the Texas. Uh, we got Dallas versus Houston. The American Airlines Arena or Center. I can't remember. What is it? I want, I want to look at the Rockets. I know the Rockets was a Toyota Center, right? Yes, I knew that. The Mavericks? I wasn't so sure about. Maybe it's not that important to look at. I forgot how you can look. Look at this. Let's try to find this real quick, just because I want to correct myself. And I might not. I might not be able to. Uh, but, uh, yeah, what is it for you guys? I don't remember how to do it. Change. Oh, wait, it's right there. American Airlines. Yeah, I was right. So not too bad. Okay, cool. High points, 22, 32, 26, 37. Okay, let's forget it. So now we're going to face the Houston Rockets. Probably going to eliminate us here. Hopefully, we're going to upset them. We're up 1-0 to start. Let's go, 2K. Let's freaking go. 2-1, 3-1, and we're going to get... And my simcast guys i have a feeling that we can upset the rockets we are down 3-1 it's not the first time a team has come back from 3-1 we can do it 20 okay okay they almost had to come back <sighs> where is where are you george hill man zero points okay you didn't even play in a minute okay whatever so Whatever. All right, Houston and Utah. So if we wouldn't have been playing Utah in the final round, that wouldn't have been too bad. Utah beat Phoenix, and then Oklahoma City beat Minnesota, or Minnesota beat Oklahoma City. Interestingly enough, so Utah and Toronto. Who does Utah have? I've never seen the Utah Jazz win a championship. Go Bear. Who do the Utah Jazz have that make them so good? Donovan, Himba, freaking Walker, guys. Uh. I have a bad feeling for Hornets fans, and I really do feel bad for Hornets fans because if the Hornets do miss the playoffs, which is very, very, very possible at this point, I think there is a chance Kim believes because I just don't see. I don't know, man. It's just a big chance that Kim believes, but you know what? I'm not a fortune teller. I have no clue. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe, push bulls, and I'm saying peace.